All right. Everybody at home, I'm filming on the phone uh, so I can edit it a little more easily. So, there. All right, here we go. First thing, we're talking about the laws of thermodynamics. And we, uh, we exemplified these laws in the lab that we did on Tuesday, okay? Now, what did we do on Tuesday? We had, part of our lab was, we had a cup that had water in it. And at one point in this lab, we had a chunk of metal dangling from a string, okay? And this chunk of metal was very, very hot. How hot was it? That sounds like a setup for a joke line, for a joke. How hot was it? 100 degrees Celsius. Remember, we had dangled this metal in boiling water, right? Everybody with me? Yes? Okay. So then we took this metal and then we plopped it into the water. So that is our before. And then just a second later, We did this. All right. Now, there are a couple of laws of thermodynamics. One, literally one, but the first law, heat is, is neither created nor destroyed. It is energy. It is just energy that moves from one place to the next. So, that's rule number one, is that heat isn't created or destroyed. And then rule number two is basically the entropy rules or the, or the chaos rules. In other words, when we talk about this, heat will not stay in one place. It will spread out as far as it's allowed to spread out. Does that make sense? Okay. So, first, how can we apply rule number one to this water? This water right here, the water in this cup, the temperature is going to go up. How can we apply rule number one to the temperature going up in this water? Rule number one is heat is neither created or destroyed. How can we say that this exemplifies rule number one? We've got a thermometer. That's right. The reason this temperature goes up is because the heat came from that metal. Does that make sense? Now, here's a test question. What will happen to the temperature of the water? It will go up. Therefore, what will happen to the temperature of the metal? It will go down. So the temperature of the metal right here, the metal temperature is going down as the temperature of the water is going up. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, that's rule number one and rule number two. What is the second law of thermodynamics? It is entropy. And entropy is disorder. Right now, the heat is very ordered, which is unnatural. The heat, there's way more heat here in this chunk of metal than there is in the water. Okay, so rule number one is that the heat in the water is coming from the metal. And rule number two is the heat in the metal will do what naturally? The heat in the metal will do what naturally? That's right, it will spread out naturally. So the heat that is in the metal, if the red just shows the heat, the heat that is in the metal will naturally spread out and create more entropy. Does that make sense? That is the second law of thermodynamics. So, to review, first law, heat is not is neither what? Created. Yeah, not created or destroyed. And rule number two, is very simply that what will increase naturally? Entropy. Entropy or disorder 
is, is what is favored by nature. So this heat will naturally spread out. It will not stay in one place, okay? And there's one last question that I've always seen on state exams, and you don't take a state exam this year, but it's a good question. And it was also answered in the lab that you did. And here is the question. The temperature of the metal will go down. The temperature of the water will go up. And they will both what? Uh -huh. They'll both change to the blank temperature. Huh? No. I remember, our water was 23 and it went up to about 25. And our metal was 100 and it went down to 25. So they're both going to become the same temperature. That's part of entropy. They'll both become the same temp. Does that make sense? So I'm writing number three here like it's another rule. It's not another rule. It's just a third way to look at the two rules, okay? The metal and the water will both become the same temperature. Does that make sense? So that's just our little lesson on applying the laws of thermodynamics to dropping that metal in the cool water. That's it.